if Sexy Red is a blood, I need proof right now. Who were the girls who jumped her in? She never told the story of how she got jumped. Hey, you got to get jumped in or you got to get banged in, okay? Um, banged in by a couple of guys. And there's no backstory on that. This person, this industry plant just come out and say they're blood. And we're just supposed to roll with it. We're supposed to just believe just it. Just because they say and it. And shit like that. And that's what I don't like about my community. You don't question shit. You let these J's just roll out their industry plants. And you just soak up their ash ass music. Their fucking low vibrational garbage ass music. Every time. They bring out a fucking industry plant, make them flashy. Y'all love these fucking intersexed hermaphrodite demons. None of these clones they pop out are real women. Everything about them are fake. Has anyone ever noticed the similarities between gang signs and Masonic hand signs? There are plenty similarities, mainly the V-shape made with the hand signs. If you know what to look for you'll see that street gangs have a Masonic origin. Some founders of these gangs have taken Masonic O's in blood to cause havoc and turmoil within the black community. For instance GD founders such as Larry Hoover and David Barksdale are known masons of the Freemason Lodge. Freemasons have a reputation of evil and blood sacrifice within the Matrix. They are regarded as gatekeepers to secrets the common citizens are not privileged to. Why anyone would become a Mason is basic to understand one seeks power and control as they feel powerless as a normal person they seek validation in the Matrix by selling their soul to serve the higher ups. In this case serving by the destruction of the black community with guns and drugs causing mass incarceration. Has anyone